Hello, Year Threes. I hope you're doing great. We are still moving on with our work on numbers to 1,000. And today, we are looking at writing numbers in order. So we've been given a sequence of three-digit numbers for us to think which one should be our first according to the instruction that we should write in order from the smallest. So we should begin from the smallest. So in this case, you're going to think, I hope uh, most of you, you are writing at home the numbers to 1,000. So you're going to look at which number comes first as I'm counting. Let's say 500, uh, 591, 592, things like that. Which one comes first? Even from 500 to 600, which one comes first? So this is your time to think. So in this case, we're going to see that 591 is our first number and it is the smallest on this sequence. So you're going to write over there 591. Then after that, you're going to check which one follows the other number. In this case, 598 is the next number. And we are moving on putting our numbers in order and the last one on our work is 638. Then you are done. This means that you have arranged your numbers according to the instruction which says the right in order from the smallest. Then after that, you're going to do the same way, but you're going to start from the largest. Woo! I hope you're still having your numbers and you have to think. When I'm counting, where do I start from? According to the sequence, when I'm counting on to 1,000, do I start with 800 and then moving on to 5-3? You see like, mm, no, that's not the case. So I want us to be familiar with three digit numbers that are within 1,000. So in this case, we are having 367, 527, 862. But our instruction says write in order from the largest. So in this case, our largest number is 862. So you're going to write there 862. Then you're going to think which one is following as the largest. You're having 367 and 527. Mm, between these two, which one is the largest? Then you're going to see that 527 is the largest. And lastly, 367. Then you are done putting numbers in order according to the instruction which says right in order. Then after that, you're going to have your worksheet to work on. And it says the same thing that we have discussed. Here, right in order, start with the smallest. And this is your work. And here, it's a bit tricky, but it's all the same. They are now not using the word smallest and largest. They're using the word longest, shortest, lightest, and heaviest. And over here, you're going to apply term one knowledge when we, when we were working on um, measure. Longest and shortest, they're talking about measuring length. And lightest and heaviest, they're talking about measuring weight. So someone has to remember, oh, we're dealing with centimeters, we're dealing with grams. So you just have to arrange them in order according to what they are asking you. Then down here, we did this work last week, making different numbers out of one three-digit number. So here is 374. How else can you make another three-digit number out of these digits? So you start putting them in a different word, coming up with different numbers. For example, three, seven, and four which is 374, you can choose to change and say 473. Or you can choose to change and say 347, like that. So after putting all the numbers in order here, I mean, after changing this in different three-digit numbers, 
then you are going to write them in order and it says start with the largest i hope you are going to enjoy working on this worksheet thank you so much